Hello again, it's me, the ukulele teacher here, with a quick lesson to teach you the correct ways to strum a ukulele. So, firstly, grab your uke. Secondly, make sure it's in tune. There's a video in the corner as always. And sit back and relax while I teach you firstly, strumming techniques, and secondly, strumming patterns. The first method of strumming you can use is with a pick. So, grab your pick. Hold it between your thumb and forefinger, like so and just strum up and down the four strings like this. Now personally, I don't recommend using a plectrum because one, it's very loud, and two, you don't have much control over the volume. The second method you could use is the Hawaiian style using your thumb. You use the soft of your thumb to strum down, and the back of your thumb with the nail to strum up. This is quite a nice method of strumming and it sounds very soft and pleasant. And it gives a very Hawaiian feel to the ukulele. But this is like the opposite of playing with a plectrum in that it's fairly quiet and again you don't have much control over the volume. And that leaves us with the third technique. Firstly, clasp your thumb and forefinger together as though you were holding a pick, but let the rest of your fingers form a sort of claw-like shape. And again, you're not sort of scrunching your hand up, but just let them hang fairly loose uh, and just clasp them together like so, so you've got a claw. You just strum all four strings with all of your fingers on the way down and with your thumb on the way up. I recommend using the claw because you've got a lot more control over how loud or soft you play it. Now you've got your strumming method, let me teach you about some strumming patterns. What you'll find is that most songs are either in four time or three time. So if they're in three time, then you have three beats per bar, which is normally three beats per chord. So let's start just by counting three and playing down strokes on each beat. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Now let's make it a bit more complicated by adding some up strokes as well. Down, down, up, down, 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 up. Let's add another upstroke. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three. A lot of songs are in four time, and that means there are four beats to the bar. So just start by playing four down strokes for each chord. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now let's add some upstrokes as well to make it a bit more complicated. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one. And now I'm going to teach you the strumming pattern that will change your life. Honestly, whenever anyone asks you what the strumming pattern is, if it's me playing, it's always down, down, up, up, down, up. Just say it to yourself again and again. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Let's play that quite slowly at first. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up. When you can play it slowly, let's speed it up a little bit. Down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, up, down, up. The great thing about that pattern is you can change the tempo but keep the pattern and it sounds completely different. 
Let's play it in a kind of swing style. Now let's play it slower. And now let's play it faster. Now what I want you to know with strumming is there are no right or wrong answers. Work out if a song is in three or four by counting along to it and seeing how many beats are in each bar of the song and then work out a strumming pattern that looks good for you. I always, always, always default back to down, down, up, up, down, up, but you might find another pattern that works well for you. The main thing is to practice and have fun with it. Start off playing slowly and get faster and faster. And who knows, very soon you'll be making up your own strumming patterns. I'll be back again soon with another lesson. In the meantime, I am the ukulele teacher and I wish you the best.